Hey everybody, it is Radley here with the Energetic Weather Report for October 30th through November 5th. I brought my friend John Moore to help me with it. Oh, by the way, here from a live studio audience in Tampa, Florida, the Energetic Yay! Weather Report! <laughs> oh my God, this is my favorite Energetic Weather Report ever. Okay, so here you go. All right. Okay, here we go, folks. So go over here and turn it towards me okay. so I can see uh, what I'm doing. Where did it oh. go? Oh. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Yeah. And, 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 um, Got it. My cameraman doesn't know he's doing He's actually... Cameraman is just blonde. Your cameraman, you're basically just a tripod. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's face it. I've been called worse. Oh. I've been called worse. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> so here we go. For Sunday, we have card number two from Angel, Archangel Michael's Sword of Life Oracle Cards. And the card says, pray from the heart. Prayer is very powerful, we all know that. And the card says, prayer really can move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. So that's for Sunday. So we're starting out on a, on a high note, I think, because basically the cards are saying you can have what you want, just ask for it. For Monday, step into the spotlight. Card number 30. You have a message that the world needs to hear. It's time to share your wisdom. And so if your prayers have to do with your career and have, your, have to do with going to the next step, this card is saying, hey, pray on Sunday, display on Monday. On Tuesday, we have our friend Archangel Michael and the card says, stay the course. And the message is don't panic. You're not on the right path. You're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. So this card sort of comes from this whole thing, from the spiritual community where you have a tendency to think, well, it's not working, it's not working, it's not working. I must be on the wrong path. I'll just change directions. This card says, no, that's not the case. We're just doing minor course corrections. Stay the course. On Wednesday, regain your focus. So this is one of the guest star cards in this deck. This is Michael mixed with Metatron. And the message says, trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. So what have we got so far? We've got ask for what you want, step into the spotlight, don't get dissuaded, but also stay focused. For Thursday, one of my best friends, the card that guest stars Archangel Uriel. It says, trust the guidance you are receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Right? Okie dokie. Got it. Message received. Now on Friday, you might be starting to have a little bit of an experience of, oh God, oh God, oh God. The reason I'm out of breath is because I've been dancing with these crazy people. So, but the card says, have no fear. <laughs> have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. This has been a big thing that we have been talking about here at the Certified Angelic Advisor course. If you're wondering who these people are, that's who they are. And so we've been talking about the whole element of how fear gets in our way in so many different ways. And it's important to ask Archangel Michael to use the sword of light to sever our energetic connections. On Saturday, we have trust in your divine purpose. So we really are kind of going back to this whole faith thing that was sort of transparent for Sunday and Monday. The card's message is the experience has divine, da, da, da. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. So now we've got your personal archangels of the week. So do you feel drawn to card number one? Card number two? Card number three or card number four. Card number four. So while you process that, I do just want to let you know that I have a new masterclass coming up with the Heather Hilda Up brand called Love Everlasting. And this is very exciting. It's coming up next week. I don't know what day. <laughs> But look for it because we will post a link to it in this video once it goes up. So if you were drawn to card number one, 
It's the chariot with Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron is about grounding. He's about focus. He's about time shifting, which is super fantastic. Looks like you've got a lot going on this week. So you might need those time shifting uh, gifts to help you. Card number two is Archangel Michael and ego. So Archangel Michael is about severing our energetic connections to fear and to worry and helping us with life purpose. But you know, there's multiple cards with Archangel Michael, so I cannot help but notice this is ego. And I think that through this reading, there were times where we started to let ego get in, we started to let fear, we got a little unfocused. And so I think this is more about Michael helping us with those issues. Card number three is justice with Archangel Raguel, the friend of God. And so I feel like this message is to help us to be in a place where we remember that people will help us. We don't have to do this all ourselves. There are people who want to help us. Raguel can help us to find those people and to help us to open doors. And finally, one of my favorite cars, the Dreamer, because it's got me and my dog Jace on it. And the Dreamer is Archangel Metatron again. So once again, we've got this energy of grounding and focus and time warping. Metatron showing up twice is very important. It indicates that he really does have a part to play in all of this. So there you have it, the Energetic Weather Report for October 30th through November 5th, done with just a few of my friends.